Good afternoon, dear children. How are you all? Yes. See, every day I'm asking this question to you. So you have to keep yourself fit and fine. When our school will reopen, I want to see you in excellent condition. So I hope you all are excellent and safe at home. So today we will continue our lecture that is last uh, lecture what we had discussed. We have discussed about rich for the top part one that is Santosh Yadav. So today we will see the detailed explanation of Santosh Yadav. Very inspiring story. I like this both the stories very very much. So and whenever I feel like this when we read like these stories many stories are there you know uh, you read we get one type of boost of energy understand so here think for a while part one reach for the top lesson number eight reach for the top part one santosh yado think for a while and make a list of three or five persons you know we always keep one ideal person in front of us and we try to do accordingly understand do you have any personality not five but at least one Yes, I want to become like that. Very good. So follow that. Take a good personality. Ideologies miss the good personality. The history, what he or she made history, though you have to follow them. Three or five persons you idolize. Idolize, keep a smartness. See, idolize we have given, admire greatly. The person we admire greatly, those called the ideologies. Okay, for admire very much for their achievements. Your idols may be from any sphere of life. It is not necessary. Any which field you like, it may be sports, it may be medicine, it may be media or art and culture anything it may be anything understand so you can do your teacher miss the i just now in the last lecture i have explained you so accordingly you have also explained so we'll go in detail explanation paragraph wise the only woman in the world who has scaled what is mean by scaled climbed scaled climbed clay scale mount everest twice was born in a society where the birth of a son was regarded as a blessing they need boy child baby boy they always welcome baby boy and a daughter though not considered a curse was not generally welcome girl child is there they are little bit upset to welcome them when her mother was expecting mother was expecting she was hoping when uh, she was pregnant for the uh, uh, santosh yadav when he, she was there conceived expecting santosh a traveling a holy man giving her his blessing assumed that she wanted a son but everyone surprised the unborn child's grandmother who was standing close by told him that they did not want a son the holy man was also surprised nevertheless he gave the request blessing requested blessing and as destiny would have it the blessing seemed to work santosh was born the sixth child in a family with five son already five sons were there and the sixth child was a girl child as that her grandmother said no we don't want now boy baby boy now we want the baby girl and accordingly they got the five brothers got the sister that is santosh and you know what is meant by santosh santosh means one type of contentment satisfaction so they named the parents named her santosh okay she was born in the small village of joniawas of ravri district in haryana ravri district in haryana 
the girl was given the name santosh which means containment which means satisfaction after five they got the girl baby girl so they gave her name santosh but santosh was not always content with her place in a traditional way of life she was not happy with uh, because she was taken uh, birth in a village and the uh, that family was also orthodox and that was a village that was the name of the district uh, jonia was in revdi district in haryana way of life she began living life on her own terms from the start from the beginning where other girls wore traditional indian dresses santosh preferred shorts looking back she says now from the very beginning i was quite determined that if i choose a correct a correct and a rational path the others around me had to change not me rational logical based on reason if anybody surrounding me want to change me that i was determined that no i will not change but because of me they changed you know see the determination the will power so what that this sentence is very important from very from the very beginning i was quite determined that if i choose a correct and a rational path what i thought rational path based on reason rational path the others around me had to change not me santosh parents were affluent affluent means rich affluent land owners who could afford to send their children to the best schools even to the country's capital new delhi which was quite close by but in line with the prevailing existing in a particular time prevailing custom in the family santosh had to make do with the local village school so she decided to fight the system in her own quiet way when the right moment arrived and she right moment came when she turned 16 years till the schooling age she has completed her education in the local and after that the right she was waiting for that and after that she told 16 most of the girls in her village used to get married santosh was also under the pressure from her parents to do the same she was pressurized to get married but she did not a marriage as early age early as that was the last thing on her mind she threatened her parents that she would never marry if she did not get a proper education she left home and got herself enrolled in school in delhi as their parents were rich they could afford so she left uh, that place and went to delhi to take a higher education that is after 10th standard when her parents refused to pay for her education so they said because they was they were saying ki you get married now you are at uh, 16 years old she said okay no no problem if you are not giving me money i will earn there myself and i will pay my fees don't give me your, uh, your money when she said like this then the parents has they have to agree for her education and they paid her fees also by then she said she politely informed them of her plans to earn money by working part time to pay her school fees her parents then agreed to pay for her education wishing always to study a bit more extra mile jab bhi kabhi chalte ho you have to work extra mile if anybody is telling you any work do that work in time but if you will do the extra work that is that quality is very good quality doing extra mile okay a bit more and with her father slowly getting used to her urge for more education santosh passed the high school examination and went to jaipur she joined maharani college and got a room in kasturba hostel 
Santosh remembers Kasturba Hostel faced the Aravli Hills. That Kasturba Hostel was there and was facing the Aravli Hills. Okay. I used to watch villagers from my room going up the hill and suddenly vanishing after a while. One day I decided to check it out myself. I found nobody except a few mountaineers. I asked if I could join them to my pleasant surprise. They answered the affirmative. They answered positive that yes you can do and motivated me to take to climb. When she was saying where these people are disappearing and then when she went she inquired everything and they, she come to know that they are the mountaineering and she was very eager to take admission and accordingly she has done. Then there was no looking back for this determined young girl. She saved money and enrolled in a course of Uttar Kashi Nehru Institute of Mountaineering. My college semester in Jaipur was to end in April, but it ended on the 19th of May. It's supposed to in complete the last semester in the April, but it was ended in the month of May. And I was supposed to be in Uttar Kashi on the 21st so I did not go back home so in the holiday she did not go back home instead I headed she went straight to that mountaineering for training I had to write a letter of apology to my father without whose permission I had got myself enrolled at Uttar Kashi so after she had taken admission and then she told the parents that okay, I have taken and sorry for that he I have taken we have admission here without asking you. Thereafter Santosh went on an expedition every year. Expedition is an organized journey for a specific, per specific purpose means that is a trekking that is a mountaineering okay. Thereafter Santosh went on an expedition expedition every year her climbing skills matured rapidly she learned all the things very rapidly fastly also she developed a remarkable resistance to cold and the altitude equipped with an iron will physically see the iron will so strong willpower iron will strong willpower that is very important strong will iron will physical endurance and an amazing mental toughness the culmination of her hard work and the sincerity came in 1992 as I said, the cost of you have to pay cost. Which cost to get success? That is hard work, determination, willpower, and everything. So, at the age of 1980, uh, in the year 1988, she has taken admission, and 1990, within these four years, she achieved goal and that is the world success 1992 just four years after she had Shelly asked the Arevali mountaineers mountaineers if she could join them at barely 20 years of age just at the age of 20 Santosh Yadav scale mount climb scale Mount Everest becoming the youngest woman in the world who achieved the feat that feat she has achieved thousands and thousands kilometer top if her climbing skills physical fitness and mental strength impressed her seniors many seniors are there were there but she was just 20 years and everybody was everybody were appreciating her to work together with them found her a special place in the hearts of fellow climbers then everybody gave her a very special place in their heart because she be all these things come true during the 1992 Everest mission, Santosh Yadav provided special care of to a climber who lay down the south colonel, uh, uh, colonel. She was unfortunately unsuccessful in saving him. 
see the fellow the oh, one person they never go they go in a group they go in a team the, the team goes there you know when they go up do so everything this mountaineering so that time what happened however she managed to save another climber mohan singh who would have met with the same fate had had she not shared her oxygen with him two people i think so they need the oxygen but she could share her oxygen with her teammate that is mohan singh and because of that she could save he her his mohan singh's life within 12 months santosh found herself member of an indo nepalese women's expedition that invited her to join them that is who invited indo nepalese women's expedition okay second time uh, she then scaled the everest second time when she joined there there she climbed second time there thus setting a record as the only woman to have scaled the everest twice and securing for herself and india a unique place in the annals of mountaineering in recognition of her achievements the indian government bestowed upon see, see they are indian government so all this achieve her hard work determination and the success so they have given her civilian award the great civilian award that is padma shri okay Uh, recognition of her achievements the indian government bestowed upon her one of the nation's top honor the padma shri describing her feelings when she literally on top of the world santosh had said what she said she said it took some time for the enormity of the moment to sink in then i unfold the indian tricolor and held a loft on the roof of the world the feeling is uh, indescribable indescribable it is we cannot describe that so proud woman to unfold the flag indian top of the mountain the indian flag was flying on the top of the world now also it was truly a spiritual moment i felt proud as an indian also a fervent environmentalist santosh collected and brought down 500 kilo grams of garbage from the himalaya so not only the she opposed the parents opposed the village people and because of her willingness hard work determination at the age of she got the success not only she uh, saved her fellow mates life also we can see the best human being also in her and when she was coming down side she collected five keep 500 kg you know how much weight you know, this garbage down side and all of this we can also get that we must also think that if they can see why not we why not we understand so i think so you might have understood this lesson very uh, clearly read this lesson once again very carefully thank you and have a nice day